explosive device left over from World War II washes up on the Cape. Emergency workers quickly detonated the device without anyone getting hurt. But officials won't say that they won't be surprised if something similar happens again. We forget that as Bill Shields mm. discovered, what's now Marconi Beach in Wellfleet was once an army base. The ocean is a very dynamic place. It gives and it takes away. And sometimes it reveals history. Like yesterday, when a World War II artillery shell was found and detonated by the state police. And four years ago, in the dead of winter, a dive team spent days cleaning up part of the ocean floor on the vineyard, where American dive bombers trained during World War II, leaving part of the bottom littered with unexploded ordnance. Then Wednesday, here in Wellfleet, an artillery shell was found. It's not an unheard of thing. This whole area actually used to be Camp Wellfleet uh, back in the 1940s and 50s, mm -hmm. and I was turned over to the Park Service around 1961. In World War II, What's now Marconi Beach was a busy army base where they trained artillery gunners and the shells are still being found. Things, uh, things wash out and things wash back in. Uh, this particular piece of ordnance washed up on the beach. Uh, we also have it uh, occasionally work its way out of the dunes after a bad winter storm. But today's beachgoers seem to know what to do if a rusty old artillery shell is unearthed by the ocean. I would probably report it to, I guess, the lifeguard would be the closest authority at hand. I'd like to think our kids would be sharp enough not to, well, to play with it. What would you do? Run away. Very good. I would probably tell my parents. Yeah? Go yeah. look at it. <laughs> <laughs> there are efforts from time to time to clean up a lot of these sites on the vineyard and even here on the Cape. But nonetheless, it's likely that a lot of this ordinance will continue washing up from time to time for years to come. And Wellfleet, I'm Bill Shields, WBZ News.